there, Mick Box of Your Heap, and uh, you're watching Ask Mick. And I have an email from um, Lynette Samuelson. Um, now he's from Sweden, and he says he's a long time fan, um, and he's seen us around nine to ten times in the Gothenburg area. First time in 1985, so fantastic, mate. Thank you very much for that. And his question is during the years, um, you have never stand as composer alone for any of your Heap songs. Why so? Um, well, I tell you what, I, I just enjoy writing with other people, um, and I'm a kind of a, um, I'm a Gemini, so the ideas flow very quickly, and um, I can never sit down and finish anything on my own. I just, it's just, I'm onto this bit, I'm going to this bit, go on to the next bit, write this bit, go over here, do lyrics, you know, it's just, I, I, I am a bit, um, a bit of a loose cannon like that, but you know, as long as the ideas keep flowing, that's all that counts. Um, so I just enjoy writing with other people. Sitting on my own, I don't get the same thrill um, as I do with writing with somebody else. So that's basically it. And um, also you're asking about a short bonus question. Which part of David Byron in the composer of July Morning? Well, I believe he contributed um, uh, a bit to the melody and a bit to the lyrics. Um, but, um, you know, um, he certainly, certainly um, sang it with... with uh, uh, I mean, I still get chills down my spine every time I hear him sing it. So, um, uh, yeah, he was just marvellous in that song. Um, but, you know, he contributed well into that song, um, even though it's not always recognised. Um, but never mind. That's the way life is. Um, but he did have a big part in it. So thanks a lot for your question. All the best now. Bye for now. I got the sun and the moon.